Which is tempting. I have an advisor slot. Yo, Cossacks. How's it going? You need to have 40 influence. Yeah, you do need to have some more. Do I have any more step territory? No, that's all down here in Gazamook, which I still need to take off of them. How long is my truce with you? 1622. Next year. And usually going east doesn't annoy the western powers, and likewise going west doesn't annoy the eastern powers. So generally you can kind of switch, go one way and then go the other way, then go back the other way, etc, etc, etc. And I would like to have some more steppe territories, because I would like to have some more Cossacks. So expanding the register would get them up to 23. That will get them to 33. That will get them to 38. Oh, not available because Cossack's influence is not high enough. 23. 33. How was I getting it so high previously? Because I've definitely used the Raise Cossacks host thing several times. Alright, six more months then we can go up in tech again. The other thing we could do is invest in some buildings and things, because it's been a while. Ooh, yeah. In fact, let's have a look at trade. I haven't checked this for a while. So we are still collecting trade from the Baltic. We do control the majority of it. We do need to build some trade depots here, though. And we're pushing money from Krakow into the Baltic. That sounds about right. And we probably do have fleet levels, so we could also get some trade ships, which would increase our trade income. Probably quite substantially. Yeah, so once we paid off the loans, I think that might be the direction we go financially. I do still want to use that Cossack slot, or that military slot. Level 22, level 29, so those are still a ways away. Yeah. Lost my di diplomatic insult against Brandenburg. Oh no, whatever am I to do? Professionalism is almost recovered. Turn on some forts for devastation reduction. I doubt that I have a huge amount. Up here, maybe. Yeah, see, we've actually got a whole bunch of provinces which are pr prosperous. I'm actually pretty darn good at keeping people away from my main provinces. No. Now we can do that. Very close for the Diplo. And this would allow me to sow discontent. War games. Lose a silly amount of money, gain some professionalism, or lose a bit of prestige. I don't need the professionalism. So, thanks. I'm only 0.45 away from maximum. New unit type. That was artillery. Yeah, leather cannon. So we're definitely in the age where artillery starts to really pay off. It's combat width. Mm, 32. So we want to have 16 artillery in our units, technically. 
Which means that we should probably go up in unit size. Yeah, supply limit mostly is in its 30s now. It's 28 up there, but that's like far north. Uh, the cannon, what? It means using leather straps to hold it to the carriage. Because they were more durable than whatever they used before. Stability drop. Ah, we have a regency, so I can't declare war even if I wanted to. Great! Well, I guess we are in for a, a time of peace and prosperity. Ottoman truce has ended, so that could mean the Ottomans want to have a piece of me. I'm going to do nothing for the moment. Bohemia is now loyal, so it's just Muscovy. I think I am going to placate local rulers twice in Muscovy, just in case somebody decides to try and support their independence. As long as that stays below 50, they can't. Yes, I would like to continue subsidizing the knights. Thank you very much. Just double check I don't have anything else to core. I don't. So I would say let's go ahead and spend the admin. Ah, oh, next one's even more monthly war exhaustion reduction. <laughs> Excellent. Alright, so the Ottomans are in, so they are far more likely to declare a war. So I'm going to go and turn on my forts again. You don't have a general. That is not acceptable. And now I feel like I really do need one of these guys. Uh, seven ducats a month. Sure. It's a morale of armies which are always useful. Speed four. Since we're in a regency, does that mean we got rid of the elective monarchy? Yes, we did. So the Ottomans are spying on us, which means they're probably trying to fabricate. Nobles ally with a foreign power. The nobility was not fully subjugated during this age, and the nobles could and did strike independent alliances with foreign princes. The crowns of Europe might not have liked it, but they were normally hard-pressed to prevent these kinds of activities. They'll pay for their treachery, lose loyalty, gain CB on Austria, or lose a bit of prestige, and they gain loyalty. Or lose the prestige, we can get that back easily enough during a war. And that would allow me to press you for stuff. So I'll take those levies, thank you very much. You can declare wars with an Empress Regency. Oh, of course, because I have a consort. That is true. I could. But I am very well aware that there is a rather large coalition forming against us right now. So I will bide my time. Who are my rivals? And am I embargoing them? Britain and the Ottomans. I could have another one. Gazamook. You know what? Gazamook would be a great rival. Embargoed by... I am not embargoing the Ottomans. That's not acceptable. I need a diplomat. We also need to embargo these guys. And Britain. Although I've got loads of power projection. Brandenburg's attacked by Hess. Yes, I will defend you. No, I'm not actually going to do anything. Okay, so we're embargoing all the things. Having a spy master in our employ has mainly contributed to our intelligence... Has mainly contributed to our intelligence gathering abroad. But Ludwig Mielski uh, sometimes coordinates counter-espionage as well. 
Recently, his investigations have uncovered a conspiracy that could only be the work of one of our neighbouring countries. Which neighbour is behind it remains unclear, but the constant exchanges of information would require those behind it to be close by. Lut Melki has prepared to round up and harshly question a number of foreign officials who might be involved, but conflicting theories about the culprits leaves it up to the Empress Consort Regent to decide who to target. Our neighbours will probably not appreciate the accusations, but something needs to be done, and fast. One of the many possible suspects is this one, Novgorod or Gazimuk. Gazimuk. I don't think that Novgorod's really in any position to do anything against us, although Novgorod is in the coalition, Gazimuk is not. How's the Muscovy army right now? 11. And their liberty desire continues to drop. Which is fine. What? Rebels? Go on a murder spree. The rest of you. Do I tell you to stop drilling? Yeah, this Gazamook's done well. It's because um, Russia never happened. So Kazan was really big, Gazamook was really big. Gazamook's about to get bigger. Which is fine, because I liked flattening Gazamook last time. Despite how long it took me. Ready to serve, my lord. Hey, Republic of Play, thank you very much for the host. Welcome to all of the viewers. What's the subject list? Our subject list at the moment are the Knights who are a march, Muscovy and Moravia and Bohemia. Brandenburg owes me 10 favor. I did nothing! I literally did nothing except raise my morale for a while. I guess my minions may have. Yeah, Muscovy is returning, so I guess the minions helped. Already have 100 professionalism, put army maintenance down. That's not what I'm doing, I'm doing it for the uh, individual drill. Royal marriage with Muscovy. Hess is the emperor again. Yes. Although I am losing a lot of money again. Uh, because most of the war reparations have worn off. This is the problem with having huge armies, is they are hugely expensive. Alright, I'll take your advice. I will turn these off. And I will save the money for the time being. And then I will invest said money into buildings, which will get me more money long term. I'm still losing money. Right, because I haven't actually reduced my maintenance. See, it's a long time since I've done that. I'm also going to pull my armies back. Just to give us a little bit more distance. Am I over the force limit? No, I'm way under it. I just haven't invested very heavily in the economy. I've just invested in growing big. Innovation wave. Oh, hello. Our long-term policy of encouraging innovation has reaped major benefits. We are seeing intellectual growth in our nation. So for 10 years, we get tech cost reduction. I'm not sure that's going to help. Because we are 11 years ahead of time. Yeah, our generals are amazing. Growth of the Cossack's power. I mean, that's one of the reasons that you want to take um, offensive ideas. Because it means that your generals are just <laughs> sickening. Growth of Cossack's power. While few would dispute the influence on the steppes, the Cossacks have many things working against them when it comes to gaining influence in the halls of power. The Shakhtar despise them and see them all brought to work as serfs in their latter funda, and their manners have not been have not brought them many friends in Warsaw. Lately, however, things have been going their way. They've managed to defend their settlements and the services to the state as raiders are indispensable. Gain influence. Hello! Yes! That's what I wanted. So we can now expand the register. 33. And supply arms. 43. Raise Cossack host. 
And recruit minister. Boom! Which also means that I can replace you with the dude that I just hired. Who is half price, which is another morale of armies, but he's level three. So right. Oops. Military access from East Frisia. Go away. Another conversion. Let's do another. We're so nearly done converting here. This is great. I'm going to have to do a bunch more once I take Muscovy. I mean, I could throw the dice and enforce religion on Muscovy. That would increase them to a 90% liberty desire. And then I can buy it down with prestige. So that does get expensive quickly. What's your opinion on corruption from territories in an upcoming patch? I have not heard anything about that. Oh, speaking of territories, I have a bunch of cores I can do. East Adriatic. That would be these guys. Wait, that's Dalmatia. Oh no, that is East Adriatic. Core you. How many can I get? Five more. Oka. I have no idea where Oka is. Aha. You. Well, lucky, uh, I know where that is. I just took it in the Victoria game. Ryzen. That's over here. Somewhere. Okay, I was trying to show off and clearly I was wrong. There it is. How many? Two more. Because I still want to leave one. South Karelia. Oh no, that's over here. There it is, South Karelia. I want to leave one because I want to go after Gazamuk at some point and I want to take their Cossack territories so that I can increase the uh, size of the Cossack estate. And of course immediately these guys are like, give me stuff! Alright. Actually what we probably need to do is core this stuff. I do not have enough to core all of it. So we'll core the cheap ones, which are hopefully the things like the grain. You are a Schachter. Uh, you're probably a Burkers, actually. Far too big to give away. Well, well, I can do too. Eleven. That's actually a really good clergy territory. I still want more. Of course you do. I would expect no less. There we go. Job's done. Right, we did get some more Cossacks. Uh, because I wanted to recruit a new army, I think. So that will cost me much money as well. 
Shakta lose loyalty, Shakta gain loyalty, and we have a couple of uprisings to deal with. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Muscovy wants a lot of land from Gazamook right now because they just took a bunch from Kazan. Ooh, 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 ooh. And they just rivaled me back and joined the coalition. Interesting. Even on half morale. Turco Polish tension. Poland and the Ottoman Empire came into conflict in 1670s and 80s when the Cossacks of the Polish part of the divided Ukraine submitted to the Ottoman Empire and called for Tatar aid against Poland. Victories were won by Hetman Jan Sobieski, only temporarily forestalled the threat. Okay, you're giving me manpower and saying that I have another claim. That's nice. I was going to do something. Oh, yes, I was going to build trade depots. Gdansk and Memel. And Riga, so that I could get more control over the Baltic, so I can get some more trade income. That sounds like a reasonable thing to do to me. That's a war. Probably the coalition. Thankfully, I have 100,000 manpower. Money's going to be a bit tight, but there are ways of dealing with that. The Palatinate declared the coalition. None of my allies said no, so Brandenburg's in. So that's what we're up against. The Ottomans are in, Gazamook's in, a whole bunch of the little guys over there. Why is that a different colour? Okay, it's not. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to set these guys to being CG. I'm going to try and take these guys out first. So I'm going to say that Bohemia, that's your responsibility. Muscovy, that's yours. Moravia, that's yours. Muscovy. Bohemia. Moravia. So we're going to take these guys out first, then we'll turn around and deal with these. Although, we have a lot of forts over here. This this is several layers of defense. I have several layers of defense against the Ottomans. I'm kicking myself I didn't build more forts down in Greece. Oh, sorry. <laughs> in Bulgaria. Gazamook, we should be just mostly combat. But I want to take these guys out, and I want to piece them out for money. No, it's a coalition. I can't piece them separately. In that case, I should go for the guys over on this side, just because then all of my fighting is going to be over here. And again, several layers of redundancies. Add one of these to every one of my cavil one of my regular armies. Mm. 
That's a very good general. Oh, he's a fire general. That's fine. One there. One there. One there. One there. Oh, no, he's still walking. One there. 